Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Single on Stilettos. Today we have on our show Tracy Campoli and she's a lifestyle and wellness coach at TracyCampoli.com and today we're talking about the ultimate how to avoid the holiday weight gain. But before we get into it, Tracy, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Great. Um, thank you so much for having me, Suzanne. And hi, everybody. Um, so I'm a lifestyle and wellness coach. I help people lose weight, get in shape, um, and get their head on straight. So it's, I always take a three-prong approach to fitness and lifestyle, making sure that you're your healthiest, you're your happiest, and you're your fittest. Yeah, because it's all interconnected, right? So you can't really have one without the other. Otherwise, it's 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 not going to be lasting. Like anyone can go on a diet and lose weight, and anyone can work out and get in shape, but it's not really going to be sustainable if you don't have the third piece. So exactly. So let's just jump into it. So I know everybody stresses out about this time because you go through Thanksgiving and the overeating, then and then you go right into the holiday parties that lead into Christmas and then New Year's, and so. It's just a plethora of going to parties and overeating and everything else. And I know everybody starts to stress out about it and going, oh, my God, I'm gaining weight during the holidays. So can you give us your five best tips to avoid the holiday weight gain? And I know your first tip is about the perfect starting your day off right. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Most definitely. So, you know, how you start your day sets the tone for the rest of your day. So if you're waking up and you're having like a scone or a Danish or maybe you're skipping and you're not eating anything at all or just starting off with something unhealthy, that's going to set the tone for the rest of the day and your energy level as well. And not to mention your health and your, your weight gain probably or during the holidays. So if you start off your day right making a really good choice. So that could be, you know, depending on the day, maybe it's a green smoothie, maybe you're going to do some uh, oatmeal or like a quinoa type of porridge, just making sure that you're, you're setting the tone for a really good, healthy choice. That's going to lead you through the day. Those days I find personally, we all do this, I mean, no one's perfect. The days that I start off with like a bacon, egg and cheese on a roll, you know, it happens once in a, in a blue moon. That way, then I start craving yucky junk food for the rest of the day. Whereas if I have a nice green smoothie, my energy's high, I'm more productive, and I feel so much better. So it's really important to, to start off with, with the right intention and tone. Yeah, and I can testify to that. I've started the day off wrong, and you're absolutely right. Throughout the day, I'm like, oh, well, I already you know, ate something bad this morning, so what's the difference? I'll keep, continue this process. Exactly. But one question about starting the day off right, because I know for myself, and this is just for myself, but I wanted to get your opinion on it, is I need protein with every meal, and I find that if I don't have protein, whatever it is, like I start my day off with a smooth, smoothie and I put protein powder in it, but if I don't have protein in it, I start to drop really fast. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? Definitely. I mean, we need protein, and, and you want to um, have more energy throughout the day. So if you're not eating enough, that can be a problem too. You know, a lot of the clients that I work with, they'll say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm eating so much better. And I'll be like, all right, what have you had today? And they're like, well, I had a coffee. And then, you know, and it's, you, you do need that sustainability. I mean, the level of protein, every body is different. So um, it's important that you're custom and you listen to your body and you see what really works best for you. I don't really generally say like, this is the exact answer because everybody's uh, body chemistry is different and, and their um, metabolism and what they actually need. But for you, I mean, that's great that you see that, oh, I need the protein powder. I'm, I'm with you on that as well. You know, but then I have some other people where it's like, they like to start off with just fruit, you know, until about like 10, 30, 11 o'clock and maybe have something different. There's no one right answer, but except for listening to your body. That's really the answer, I would say. Great. So, okay. So your second point, and I love this point, and <laughs> I think it's hilarious because it's true. We all go through our mind and we're like stressing out and we're like going through our head and going, oh my God, I'm gaining weight. So it's about calming the F down. So Tracy, <laughs> tell us how we can calm the F down. 
Well, you know, the, uh, during these times, there's often so many obligations, right? So on top of year end, getting everything finished with work, you know, so you might have different, whether you work for yourself or you work for a company, everything's being thrown at you. Then there's the parties, there's, you know, all the fun social things, all the extra eating, all the hors d'oeuvres passing, all the drinks. So it's a lot. So the main thing is to calm the F down. When when something, when you get invited to something, you don't have to say yes to everything. You know, it, it's as simple as saying, you know, oh, I'd love to, but I'm sorry, I can't. No one's going to die if you say that. And sometimes, you know, especially as women, we, we tend to want to please everyone. And it's really okay to say no. Um, and then sometimes, you know, maybe if it's a work function and you can't, take a few minutes to meditate. You know, again, starting off your day, if you can take five minutes and just sit in silence and and, and uh, create an intention for the day, a little bit of meditation, it doesn't have to be a half an hour, it doesn't have to be an hour, five minutes, a few deep breaths can make all the difference, especially during this time that's just so loaded with commitments. It's important to have a little bit, of, a little piece for you so that you're not so overextended that you're just cranky and, and you know, quite frankly, just mad at everyone. <laughs> then you're not going to have fun anyway. Exactly. And I have to add to that because I used to be that type of person that you said would always say yes to everything because I always felt bad if I said no. And I didn't discover until later in life that it's okay to say no. If it's not going to make me happy, that's what's important. And, you know, we can't do everything in life, right? Well absolutely and we shouldn't you know why why <laughs> exactly so okay your third point is to schedule and calendar your workout so tell us how we can do that better well you know often when when people will say oh I'm gonna try to work out more during the holidays I always look at them and I'm like no you're not I know you're not <laughs> you're gonna try and so you're not gonna do it so it's important that you, you know, whether you do it weekly or monthly, again, you can decide what's best for you, but to, you know, put it into your calendar just as important as, you know, the company holiday party or, you know, someone's birthday or whatever it is that you've got going on that, that you've put it, you've written it down. That makes it real. You'll see it. You're going to um, commit to it. You know, it's, it's, it's important that you carve out that time so that you're not overextending. You know, again, that's the theme here, that overextension. And then you don't have any time to do it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get to it later. We all know that game. And we often don't get to it later. You just miss it. So if you just put it into your calendar and keep it, you know, or hire a trainer too, you know, like make some kind of accountability. I think that. that's an excellent point because I'm that, that type of workout person. I go based on how I feel because I'm a night workout person. I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like it tonight. You know, it's cold outside or whatever it is. And I'll, right. I'll go based on how I feel. But you're absolutely right. If I had it in my calendar, I would just do it. Yeah. So whether you pay for the class, you pay for the train, whatever it is, but just making sure that you, that you right. commit. Right. It's about making that commitment. Absolutely. Okay. So your fourth tip is about handling that snack attack. <laughs> okay, so when you go to a party, the worst, worst thing that you can do is to show up starving. Or if you go to a dinner and you show up starving, it's a recipe for disaster. You, you have no willpower, you're starving. And you know what, the answer is you should eat if you're starving. So if you just plan a little bit, you know, piece of fruit, maybe some nuts, um, some cut up veggies, something. I'm always, I'm like a little pack rat. I always have a little something in my purse. Even if I don't think I'm gonna need it, or even if I had a big lunch, you just never know how you're gonna feel. That way when you show up, you're not drained and just gonna you know, reach for anything that you can find. You're gonna make a better choice and that's so important can't stress that enough so you know just like you would care for your child or your animal you want to take that same level of care for yourself it's so important you know I think I've been guilty of every tip that you've given us so far because I've been that person that shows up at a party and doesn't eat way before and I'm like starving before and I'm like eating everything in sight and I know it is so bad it's, I know this because I've done it all too. I mean, nobody's perfect. So it's like, hmm, what could I have done better? Oh, if I just put like a bar in my bag, I wouldn't have had X, Y, or Z. So. And it's true because I'm one of those people that when my blood sugar drops, I start to freak out and I just need to eat anything and everything. So yeah. um, great point. So your last tip is about getting support. So tell us about that. So, you know, the main thing, especially during the holidays when there's so much, um, you know, the commitments, the stress, just that feeling of, of overextension, 
it's important that you have support. So, you know, as I mentioned before, maybe you're hiring a trainer to do your workouts. Um, maybe you're, you're making workout dates with your friends or you're, you're doing an online schedule with a class so that you can't cancel less than 24 hours in advance, something along those lines, just something to give you the extra little push, that extra bit of accountability so that you actually have to. Perfect. To yeah show up when you say you're going to show up so that makes a big difference okay so those have been some great tips tracy so tell our audience how they can find you awesome so you can go over to tracycampoli.com and you can find me over there and if you're watching this during the holidays i have an awesome program that's starting up in january it's called four weeks to your hottest body ever and it's exactly what we spoke about today it incorporates a cleanse a weight loss program a maintenance program tons of workouts custom tailored to to this program and some live coaching with me so it's basically everything you need to lose those last few pounds and keep them off for good Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single on Stiletto show. If you enjoyed the show, it's available both in video format and podcast format. If you would like to view the videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com. And if you would like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free report on the top 10 secrets on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleonstilettos.com.